In Throne and Liberty, one of the first experienced bottlenecks you will come to uh, playing this game will be around the level 20 to 22, which is a problem because to start chapter 5 and progress on further within this game, you need to reach a level 23. This means you will have to find other means of reaching this level than the main PvE quest lines, which rewards you those large chunks of XP. Now, not everyone will experience this problem, but some will. I did, and today, guys, we will explain exactly what you need to do in order to reach a level 23. How's it going, guys? My name is DPJ, and I'm giving away 1000 plus Lucent. And to win, well, it's as simple as this drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, and make sure you are subbed. I'll pick winners in the comment section and announce them tomorrow. Uh, the more I see you active on my Throne Unlimited videos, the more of a chance you have of winning. So, good luck, everybody. So, as I said, not everyone will have this problem, I do indeed know. But some definitely will, because to reach a level 23, it's the very first bottleneck you will experience within playing this game. Basically meaning you run out of main quests to do, things to do in order to earn that experience, if you don't know where to look. Now, it's the first of many you will come to in this game, uh, but today, guys, we concentrate on this specific level right here of a 23. And today, guys, I also have you easily covered on how you can reach that level 23 so you can progress on to that chapter 5. So if you are seeing this on the side of your screen, chapter 5, a sacred pledge of blood, uh, on reaching the level 23, you can begin the adventure codex with new things to do upon chapter 5 uh, and basically progress on your level even further. Now, I had this. Problem was, there was absolutely no indication for what to do next. Yes, for sure, I could have run around killing those enemies found all over the map, but XP gains in doing that would have taken me days. I mean, for the standard ads outside of dungeons, and dungeons are hard enough at this level anyway, I mean, it just takes way too long killing those normal enemies. So yeah, what else could you do? I'd also done everything I could see on my map, there was nothing for me to go to, to do any kind of quest or anything like this. I'd also done all of the available contracts up until this point, which was definitely a mistake now I know I've done them, but hey, what else can I do? On the side of my screen was recommendations to do the Roaring Dungeon, but yet you need to be a level 30 in order to do this, so that's no help at all. Other recommendations of doing a secret dungeon second floor of Russian the Queen Spider, which I'd already done. Uh, upon me doing this on repeat, you actually earn no XP for doing it, so there's no point in doing this, guys. So I was really stuck here. That's when I started navigating menus to see what else I could do to earn easy XP for me to progress on. And that's when I stumbled upon this. So if you bring up your menu and then go to that codex, then tab across to exploration. Here, oh, guys, you want to come down to the Stone Guard. And the first one below this is the Monolith Wastelands. Now there's a good chance here, especially if you're a new player, that you don't know about this place, or you haven't unlocked it yet, which is what you do want to do, and it's seen right here on the map. Now when you get near this, you actually can't climb all the way up to it, so you have to get the high ground and glide across to it as you see me do on screen now. Now upon you activating this Monolith, you are now good to start earning more XP within this area, and it's easy XP too. So going back into that codex, because you'll notice nothing on the side of your screen telling you what you need to do now, um, you want to go down to, again, the Monolith Wastelands. Here, guys, you can now do some of these side quests. I think there's four here in total. I believe one of them is specific to a time or day, and I think one may be locked behind a level 23, but the others you can do here. Now, the one I recommend you doing first, because it's so simple, and that is the Keepsakes in the Sand. Highlight this and it tells you the next step where you need to talk to uh, the crematorium's worker who's found right nearby and he asks you to recover emblems which is a real simple task to do. Now once you've done this guys, you simply head back to this dude, cash it in and earn a ton of that XP. Now I was lucky when I was killing these cobras within this sand, I actually got the morph which gave me a massive chunk of XP too, so that's another thing you could probably do. Now once you've done this one monolith, a wasteland side quest, head back into the codex and do the others. Now I'm absolutely certain, more than certain even, is that this might be something new players didn't even realise was a possibility in regards to earning extra XP. I didn't know, and as a new player I thought I cannot be the only one. 
There are no doubt other side quests from other areas you may have missed, other areas you can unlock, uh, easier areas, not those too hard hitting areas, where you can do things like this to help you clear that level 22 and onto that level 23 so you can progress the main game and earn even more XP. Like I said, I was stuck. I mean, I jumped on this game this morning. I was running around, just finishing off things here and there. I got to a level 22. I, I just, there was nothing for me to do. I ran around doing contracts, which I was saving because I thought this has got to be the only way to level up. I was wrong. Barely got anything. Got to a level 22 and about a half, maybe a third. I did the first two floors of a dungeon. Didn't really help me much, to be honest. Although it was a part of the main quest for me to do, it was a step before the one where you have to defeat the Roaring Temple, so I did that. Yep, when I realised the Roaring Temple needs to be a level 30, I really think I was stuck. And then guys, like I said, I started searching the menu, searching what I could do, and I found a codex. Well, I knew the codex was there already. I didn't realise the exploration tab had different areas where you could do individual side missions and side quests to earn you even more XP. So yeah, like I said guys, there's probably even more side quests you can do in other areas to earn you even more XP, more rewards, more loot materials and so forth. Now I have looked through some of them, a lot of them are kind of locked, a lot of them are missions you can't do this early, but I'm pretty sure there are some you may have missed. So if you're around a level 20, um, I'd definitely be checking that out, especially if you're stuck for XP in regards to the main PvE quest line. Um, I'd probably more than certain there will be certain areas where there are side quests you can do and I know a lot of people skip these because I think just play on with the main story and it will help and although it does and it's probably your best bet in earning chunks of XP once you run out you hit that bottleneck where there's no more main quests to be done and to hit a certain level it's all about doing those side quests at the same time so just again go into that codex go to the exploration go to the areas the side quests you may have missed and yeah do what you gotta do again if you've done all of that like I thought I had you can do what I demonstrated today guys and that is the monolith wastelands area and do the few side quests that are here waiting for you and it really is as simple as that people so yes I know this is a tip most will probably know already I know there are many many players brand new to this game that will come up stuck just like I did and well I hope this helps you out on that note guys the end of the video has arrived if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps me out if you like what you see and want to see more throne and liberty be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one